ever since I started kokanee fishing, I've always been taught that a slow and steady retrieve is gonna put more fish in the boat. So today I'm gonna to put that to the test. Every other fish, I'm gonna go slow, and then I'm just gonna try and bring it as fast as I can. So this first fish, I'm gonna go nice and slow and steady, and see if we can get this fish in. And we'll flip back and forth and just see what my landing odds are, or my landing ratio is, compared to fish hooked up and fish lost, versus the two methods of retrieval. Nice little kokanee. Come here, buddy. Yeah. All right, first kokanee of the day. Fish. I'm just trying to rip this one in. Just gonna crank it fast again. I tried to lose that fish in every way possible, but I didn't. So, one for one on both techniques. I just ripped that thing in. I got the drag screwed down pretty tight, and there's a lot of kokanee down there right now. Fish finder's lit up. Ooh, fish. I'm gonna go gentle on this one. Low and steady, as I always say. See what happens. Got him. All right, two for two on slow and steady. Got him on my little micro shrimp spinner. Fish. Hold this one fast. No mercy. No mercy. That's a nice sized fish. I got him in. Didn't seem to matter that I cranked that thing super hard. Two for two on both. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe they don't have soft mouths. Maybe you can just rip them in. That's a nice fish too. So right now the water temps on the surface are 76. I'm seeing a strong thermocline at 18 feet. So I'm putting two ounces on at 45 to 55 feet down. That's putting me right below that thermocline. I'm trolling pretty slow this morning, 1.3 to 1.2. Definitely marking fish deeper, but they seem to be coming up and hitting hitting uh, this gear anyways. Although I did get that one on the drop, so obviously they, they liked it a little bit deeper. Fish out of the bite. We'll stall it. See that? I slowed down. Can I get him to take it? There he goes. Right, I'm gonna go slow and steady with this one. Got him. Oh, got a double going. Oh, I did. So far, three for three on the gentle and two for two on the rip and rip. They really like this plain pink micro shrimp right here, man. They're just hammering this thing. It's getting a bit two to one compared to the little shrimp spinner. And I'm just using plain corn today with a little bit of Procure Bloody Tuna and garlic. Oh, there's a bite. If we can get him to come back for it. There he goes. I just slowed down. All right, we're gonna grip and rip. This feels good. Heavy fish. Not giving them any slack. The big one. The big one. Oh, he got off. There we go. He got off. That's the first loss. 
I hit the boat, he got off. Alright, so that's our first loss of the day recorded on the grip and rip. It's a two for three. That didn't take long. Go slow and steady on this one. Ooh, feels like a nice fish. Don't feel him anymore. Either he's swimming at me or he came off. Yep, he's off. Alright, that's another loss for the well that's a loss for the slow and steady, so they've both lost one fish. Oh, there's fish. There's fish. Rip and rip it. Like bass fishing for kokanee. In there. Oh, it came off in the net. Man, my net skills on the left side of this boat suck. So three for four for both techniques right now. Do slow and steady on this one. Oh, I think he just came off. Yep. All right, four for six on slow and steady. Rip and rip. Got him. Slow and steady on this one. They really love these micro shrimp. A lot of the kokanee tackle manufacturers have these available. They're charging like three dollars a, a pop. And if you know how to tie your own hooks, you can get a bag of these pre-dyed shrimp. Uh, on Amazon, you can get like 50 of them for like eight bucks. You can tie that up for under a dollar per lure. So I'll, I'll put links and I'll show you how I tie these things up. It's really, really easy. You can also dye them really easy too if you have a uh, lure dye markers or lure dye dip. Got him. Nice. Another nice one on the shrimp spinner. A good sized fish. It's a nice kokanee. So that's four for seven on slow and steady, and four for six on grip and rip. Lots of kokanee on the graph, just a matter of time. Oh, oh, there's one there. Nice. Let's go super grip and rip here. Hold it in. No mercy. I actually picked Ray. That's crazy. Got him. Nice. Oh, there's another fish there. Gotta get this one processed though. These are fat kokanee. Keep pressure on it. Go slow and steady on this one. Got him. There we go. That's a limit. Ten fish. So I actually caught five on both 
retrieval techniques. I went five for eight on the slow and steady, and I went five for seven on the grip and rip. There really wasn't any difference. Um, so do kokanee actually have soft mouths? I'm not so certain. I think if you have the right hooks and right rod, uh, like here I'm using very slow action glass and composite rods. Uh, 10 pound monofilament and I'm using quality hooks that I covered in my hook video. I think you can just rip them in, just pull them in. If you got the right gear, maybe I'd have different results if I was using a heavy graphite rod or something. But I've got two ounce lead droppers on here and I'm just ripping these fish in. I'm not seeing a big difference here. Obviously this is just a one time test of only 10 fish but if there really was a dramatic difference i think i would see something so maybe it is just a myth so here's those little micro shrimps i was using today you get a bag of 50 for like eight bucks on amazon you can dye them i'm gonna show you how to do that just real quick and then just tie them up on your favorite hooks you can add a little blade on front if you want to, like I did on one of mine. Um, but these things are just incredibly effective and super cheap to tie up on your own. I'm not even going to try, maybe I can try pronouncing that. Ouija fishing hooks? Ouija? Ouija? I don't know. Some Chinese brand, but man, do they really work. So they put a quick limit in the boat for me today. And uh, let me show you how I get these rigged. And then I got to get home and clean some fish. All right, in order to tie up these micro shrimp, um, basically you need to snell two hooks in line. Uh, here I'm using finesse wide gap hooks from Gamakatsu. Uh, if you haven't tied uh, snell knots, it's really, really easy to do. I use 10 pound Maxima monofilament. So just get uh, about a foot long section of it and cut it off. You don't need a lot here. And to tie this is really really easy and you take your tag into your line and the you tie in the bottom hook first by just sliding the line in and then you're quickly doing five or six consecutive wraps back away from the eye of the hook and then come back through take your tag into your line and come back through this eye here okay and then you just pull that taut, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything fancy. Okay, so the next you're gonna to want to tie in the other hook right above the other one. And I usually run it oh a little bit more than the same length of the hook below it. So about an inch. Just like that. And I like to counter tie them, one pointing one direction, one pointing the other direction, rather than having them in the same direction. Again, five or six wraps, and then just come back through your eye of your hook and pull it taut. And there you go. That's all ready to go. You can trim off that tag end. Okay, now that we got a couple set up here. Let's just show you how to rig those uh, micro shrimp really fast. So I got my micro shrimp here. I'm gonna take a couple out of the package. Now, there's two ways to rig them. There's essentially a little hollow tube that runs down the inside of these things. Uh, it's better to run them head first. All right, so underneath the chin, it's hollow in there. So all you gotta do is just run this along the chin there and it will slide up inside and you want that to be head first as it goes down you don't need to even put any beads or anything in here um, I find that it actually isn't necessary and what's really nice because this thing's hollow you can actually squeeze the hooks up inside just a little bit inside the shrimp and it sets that hook into a really nice position now you can add some beads, like three or four beads on top, and then add a small clevis 
with a spinner to give you a micro shrimp spinner. So here's an example of the micro shrimp spinner here. Just a couple of beads and a little tiny number one Colorado blade is all you need. And that looks pretty good. I just use these little mixed bead things they get at Walmart. You can get these for like 99 cents. There's usually lots of little small beads that'll work well for you in there. Now in the video you noticed I had some that were red and pink. This one's kind of like a dark red on the bottom, running up to a pink head. Um, you can also do other colors too, depending on what dyes you use. And I'll show you how to use these dyes. Here's a blue and pink uh, spinner, which looks pretty good. So you can use different dyes here. I'm using a quick coat. They make like markers you can use too. I have a quick coat blue and a quick coat red that I've used for another spoon fishing video. And I'm going to show you how you can just quickly use these dyes to make different colors of these things. So make sure you have somewhere you can set down the shrimp so it won't stain anything because these dyes really do stain. So just take your shrimp and you can just dip it if you want to do a red head or you want to do a red tail. I can just So there's a pink shrimp. I just put in the red a little bit. A couple quick dips. Pull it out. And there you go, it's got a nice red tail on it. So I'll just let that sit down on the... there and wipe off the excess. It'll dry pretty fast. You'll get a nice bicolor pink and red. Or you can do blue. There you go, there's a blue tail on that one. I'll wipe off the excess. So there you go, there's my blue and pink. And there's my red and pink. Now they also sell an undyed shrimp that is just glow and you can use that one to like turn it into any color if you want to do orange or chartreuse. You can buy um, lure markers and things like that and I'll put links to those as well. But yeah give these a shot and remember if you buy them through the link on my uh, description down below then it helps support this channel. I hope you guys catch a lot of kokanee using these little awesome micro shrimp.